Hello my dear Capricorn, uh, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between April 16 and April 30, 2018 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, I have done my readings in the order of most viewed up till now but next time I will do the readings in the order of most liked so don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Uh, I have put the astrological information for the month of April in a video of its own that you can check out in my playlist Q&A. You can also find it at my webpage www.queenofcupstarot.se where you can find and buy all the decks I'm using in this video. Uh, there is a subscription service up on my webpage that you can take part of if you want to learn more about spiritual growth, yoga and tarot. Uh, so today uh, it's very... Uh, early morning so it's coming in uh, very bright sunlight from my uh, roof ceiling so you will see a little bit reflections from my uh, dream catchers uh, in the, in the background it's usually not um, any uh, spirits it's my <laughs> it's my beautiful dream catcher okay uh, so it's a little bit contrast as well if it's getting worse I will uh, draw down the curtains so I will start shuffling your cards and I used the Osho Sen Tarot by the lovely lady Deva Padma and um, I do reversals because I have had this deck since, uh, um, not this particular deck but I have been using Osho Sen since early 2000 something so I'm used to doing reversals with it. So when I open your deck here I see ripeness and the inner voice that's in the reversed. Uh, so ripeness is a card, it's connected to the hermit card and it's about uh, self-love. It's about um, coming home to yourself, maturing into the person that you are. With uh, In a voice in the reverse, it might be that you still have some, um, you have some rules still for who you are supposed to be and what you are supposed to feel, uh, what you are supposed to know and other things. So it's, it's like you're still living by some rules, but it seems like you're very uh, mature, very grounded um very ready okay so beautiful okay i call the divine with love and light and here we see a change together with inner voice so it says that uh that this with your inner voice coming in contact with your inner voice is something that happening now uh with spiritual interference the change card is when uh, kind of the planets and cosmos is moving in its circular orbits and changing the rules a little bit okay changing the current energies and it seems to in your life open some kind of curtain towards your inner voice you coming in connection uh, with your with your heart and your third eye and uh, Yes, your own soul. Uh, this uh, inner voice, the high priestess, she's like the antenna that have connection uh, with other worlds and with higher parts of yourself. Okay, so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have letting go together with the change card. So uh, change is sometimes very scary. And with the eight, um, the letting go card in the reverse, you're probably very fearful about this. It's like something changing in you and in your life. And you might feel like you are losing control a little bit. So you might start to get anxious. Um, it's also that this change is also coming from you getting really sick and tired of uh, old things problems that have been in the old and that you it's like you can't take it anymore so you're becoming a little bit uh, allergic to certain situation that you didn't have any problem with uh, um, accepting before but now when you are becoming more your true you uh, certain things you know, that you were able to swallow before you won't be able to swallow them now uh, so um, it's um, you might get tired of certain things and 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 just um, uh, leave them. It might also be that that you're actually doing the other thing, like coming home to yourself, finding out what really worth something, what's really meant to be, and what's uh, really what's real. <clears throat> because sometimes we can have things that's not so real. Um, we can have certain things that we live by certain rules and conditions we live by but 
uh, for example, to be cold hearted can be one. But when we really look inside, we see, well, we are not cold hearted at all. We just had this cold heart as a protection. So these might be the things also that you might uh, discover uh, during this time. Okay. So uh, I call the six uh, elements and here we have morality together with uh, change in reverse. So uh, this is the only thing that can prevent you from maturing and growing into uh, your true you. It's, um, it's how you are, you think how things should be, like how they should be. Well, if they aren't <laughs> as they should be, they are, in, they are in some other condition. You need to find the true condition of things. Not uh, Things will never be as you have decided, like this is my rules, this is how life should be. No, it's what it is, okay? So you need to accept it, accept change. Put yourself in the center here, here. just accept whatever is and go with the role. If you try to stop it, try to um intellectualize it like make it into um a story and and you want to have it like order it like this is what should happen now no something else happened and you get a little bit um worked up because of this just go with the flow okay go with the flow see what happens okay so the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear capricorn viewers so i want my dear capricorns to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships i also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny okay so there it is. I will just tune in for a few seconds. Okay. Okay. So, my dear Capricorn, this is your future. There. And this is the now. There. And this is the past. Uh, so, uh, the past is probably March, first half of April, and uh, we have the Three of Pentacles card here. So you're being guided through this process. If you just, uh, if you just uh, let go and kind of tag along and let whatever present itself present itself. You can't, uh, uh, you can't write the rules here. You can only be a participant in this, like an equal participant, but. Uh, you can't uh, control the situation, okay? So, um, but the guidance card here is it's a very sweet card. It's about healing. It's about uh, um, problem solving, perfecting things, making things more harmonious. It's the Holy Trinity. So it's you, maybe some other person on earth as well, and the divine working together, building something beautiful for the future. Uh, okay. And here we have... Uh, the now, so the now is the second part of April 2018, and we have the experience card uh, in the reverse, the three of wands. Uh, so you're a little bit scared here. You do, really don't want to have this all these new experiences. Uh, you don't want to be uh, overwhelmed with like a new reality presented itself, but. Uh, it's coming here and we are here to experience things. We are here to always have new adventures. We're not here to uh, find our happiness at uh, 18 and then live happily forever after. This is not heaven. It's uh, more like a boot camp uh, to which we come for getting to know ourselves. Uh, so therefore we need to be put through uh, a lot of challenges and jumps to uh, hoops <laughs> to uh, make us see ourselves so uh, don't uh, don't try to decide what's going to happen next uh, try to know yourself what you want uh, to be happening next but don't don't try to make the rules because the rules uh, um, are kind of there to make you get to know yourself so you will be uh, confronted with certain um, obstacles uh, that when you come through them you have gotten to know yourself better you have made experience both about uh, your situation but mostly about who you are so again with the holy trinity here so you're doing some 
uh, mysticism work uh, together with the divine. Uh, and then we have the conditioning and it's introversed and it's a very good card in this position together with these trees. Um, con this card is the devil card. It comes in the reverse. It's showing that you are freeing yourself from old condition. Um, someone said something to me yesterday. It was a comment made in Swedish, so I can't really share it with uh, all of you. But it was a person saying, finally... Finally, uh, someone confirmed what I have been thinking all along, what I have been knowing all along. And this is a little bit how how it's working. If we are the only one that knows a thing, uh, we can't really believe it. And we need to have like a flock of sheep that knows the same thing before we can believe it. If some one uh, sheep says here, like the wolf is coming, uh, the other one won't believe it them until they are seeing the wolf themselves. Uh, or um, it, we have this story also, also about a shaman that was living in America before Columbus came and they were waiting for um, <laughs> the star-crossed people to come with the fire and for the lost brothers to come back and one day the shaman saw some particular like strange waves out on the ocean and after meditating on this for for a long time he kind of uh, understood that this was uh, it was some kind of uh, like a house uh, on the water with people on board uh, so he started to invite like the people of his tribe to to see the same thing but they were not able to see it uh, for a long time but the shaman was the one that saw it first like understood that this was something new something they have never seen they have never seen such a big boats uh, before like they had smaller vessels at this time not saying that they always have had this but right now uh, so and and this is kind of what you are breaking free from now the rules of what you are allowed to believe uh, the rules of what you are allowed to feel, what you are allowed to think, uh, who you are allowed to be. Um, it's like you are uh, dropping it and becoming more your soul self. We have combination here with the classical strength card that usually depicts a lion. Uh, so you are a lion dressed as, as a lamb. Okay. <laughs> And now we are going to see the real lion instead. So that's uh, probably getting more interested. interesting. Okay, uh, this is the past. And here we have the lovers in the reversed. So some of you might have been, uh, might be or have been in a relationship that has been kind of a little bit unbalanced. Uh, maybe one loved one person more than the other. Um, usually we fall in love with our shadow and then when the shadow presents itself as the shadow we get um, uh, really confused we don't want to be falling in love with our shadow sorry i got a little bit of a cough there so i had to pause uh, okay so the lovers were meeting someone they weren't really what we uh, thought they would be when we fell in love with them or what we fell in love with is no longer there um, <clears throat> so different kind of things might have presented itself here and it's like I'm feeling disappointed uh, this wasn't what I signed up for uh, this wasn't what what I assumed would happen so it's some kind of disappointment when it comes to love um, next card here is the beyond illusion so it's the judgment day and it's also in the reversed uh, so you are not seeing the bigger picture. This person came, uh, this situation came. It doesn't, ha it doesn't have to be a romantic love uh, situation. can be, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any kind of situation, relationship where we mirror ourselves in others. And, and we refuse to see the bigger picture. There was a reason to why this person come uh, into our life. Even if it's kind of a perpetrator person, they are making us uh, challenged and being uh, making us jump through hoops. Okay, they are making our uh, else so organized life becoming totally an, in a mess. And it's for a reason. So you will get to know yourself. You know what I said before. So <clears throat> powerful major arcana cards here in the past. Um, for some of you, this might be happening now because I'm uh, doing this in early April. It's the April 3rd today. Uh, so some of you might be uh, going through this 
uh, as we speak. And here we have nothingness. So nothingness is the card number five. So it's connected to the hero font. It's kind of the <clears throat> the Buddha <laughs> Buddha side to the hero font card. Um, nothingness. It's uh, what we're coming from, and it's where we are going. If you can imagine the best picture I can give you, because nothingness really doesn't have a picture, but for you to get in the neighborhood of it, we can speak about the time before the Big Bang, before there were anything, there were no thing. And uh, we can also see this with your consciousness. This is your consciousness, your awareness, uh, your awakenedness. And this is when you wake up in the morning and this is your uh, dreamless sleep without having any dreams at all. You don't know where you are at that time when you have uh, the deep sleep without any dreams. Where are you then? You are in nothingness. Uh, so what we are seeing here is um, is you uh, kind of letting go of control and also realizing that you um, that you have only one thing and it's your own awareness. And sometimes you even you don't even have your own awareness. It's going somewhere. You don't know where it's going. Uh, so I'm thinking this is a, like they are trying to tell you about um, letting go of control. Okay. It seems like you want to control something here, but it's uh, beyond your control. It's uh, beyond the illusions. It's uh, something much deeper to this, what you are experiencing, this disappointment that you are the experience. Um, it's not like a situation where you can pay for some fruit and get the fruit you want. It's like you pay for something and you get something else. But this something else, it's like a mysterious box or it might be Pandora's box as well. Um, or it's something that's going to teach you something or take you on an adventure. It's much more than what you were bargaining for. Okay, and here comes the innocent card. It's the number 19. It's uh, the sun card. Uh, so um, it's talking about um, being born here to earth as a child, uh, going through all these uh, jump, uh, ho uh, <laughs> these uh, challenges, and uh, ending up uh, again like sh in a childlike state uh, where you kind of don't mind what happens, and you also um, you realize what's real and what's an illusion. Everything uh, you experience on the outside is kind of an illusion. It's like you're looking at a TV screen <clears throat> and what's real, it's your uh, awareness. And you can see that this um, uh, beautiful man is using his awareness to uh, connect with the praying mantis. Uh, so usually we are like this, we are going through life, we just want other people to be um, like how we want them to be. We, we don't care for who they really are. We don't care for who they are inside, um, behind those eyes. Who is that person? Uh, we rarely even look people in the eye. Uh, so this is about um, being totally here and now in your awareness state, totally awakened, not trying to control your outside environment, but actually seeing the world exactly as it is with the eyes of a child. Um, so don't have any prejudgments about a person, uh, like what they are going to be or what you can expect from them. Always be very awake and very aware. Uh, study them like you would study a very interesting fairy tale or a beautiful <clears throat> a beautiful movie about something very interesting like or something that you really want to get to know. If you want to, for example, uh, learn or all about um, the Middle Ages, you might read a lot about the Middle Ages, but um, when it comes to the people in our lives, it's it's almost like we are not interesting, uh, interested enough, even with our um, partner, like our life partner, we might not be that interested in them and our own children. Um, so this is about connecting with people eye to eye and really starting to get to know who they are beyond uh, our own illusions about who they might be. They are a bigger mystery than you can ever imagine. And so are you. Okay. So the song card, it's about uh, awareness, about coming home to yourself and starting to look 
at uh, the world every time you open your eyes with new eyes and not the same old same old eyes and here we have the eight of wands and it's in the reverse so it's kind of you don't want to believe what you are seeing um uh, eight of wands in the upright position it's uh, it's beautiful uh, authenticity and uh, being able to move forward uh, to new heights because of you are always this curious and always this in this um, authenticity seeing the world like uh, every day was totally new and everything everything is like a new adventure but here it's like the sun and the sun's rays but the sun's rays is in the reversed so it might be meaning that you need to go more deeply inside and get to know yourself first before you really can get to know anyone else uh, so maybe there's a time for not being so outgoing, but actually going within and ex exploring this new awareness that you have gotten. Uh, how can you find this awareness? Uh, it's by just um, um, using your sensory perceptions. Okay, your eye is the watcher. Uh, your am is your sensory perceptions. So with your eye, you can see. With your eye, you can hear. With your eye, you can touch and feel. Uh, you can do a lot of things. You can um, do all this, use all your sensories to get to know the world around you. But just you can't know that it's real. The only thing you know is real is that you are looking at it or you are listening to it or you are touching it. So that awareness is your eye. And this is what the divine wants you to investigate. Uh, not being, having... Uh, already made up beliefs about how everything should be and how you should be and how other people should be and how they should follow the rules and how you should follow the rules and how you would rather be like this instead of what you are like this you would rather be cool than dramatic you'd rather be <laughs> whatever okay uh, but here you are getting to know yourself without having any um like so jumping into any conclusion or having any assumption of how things should be or how you should be uh, so it's some it's almost like meditation it's almost like coming home not going out but coming home uh, okay so beautiful and uh, this is in the now so another three non-experience since the experience card was in the reversed so this is the second half of april and we have uh, exhaust, exhaustion nine of wands in the reverse so nine of wands is like a person that have been through a battle they might have been a warrior and coming home with some post-traumatic stress uh, disorder and so uh, everything has been a little bit too much and they are still living in this uh, this past where everything was too much they don't really realize that they are not there anymore they are still preparing for the worst it's like um, <clears throat> I was living on a street uh, when I was small uh, where it came a lot of children from uh, Beirut. It was bombing day, I think 83, somewhere around there. And um, they were hiding underneath the table when they come an uh, aeroplane uh, over the sky. So they were living in this past experience still because they were traumatized by their experiences. And um, it's how our body work, it's how our, our ego work to, uh, to save ourselves. Uh, because if we don't have this, uh, we don't uh, learn this, we will be sitting ducks and the bombs will hit us. But the person that's surviving is, is learning, but becoming traumatized in the process. While the fool that's being bombed, they have no problem. They have been bombed, they are not here anymore. Uh, they are just their own awareness now and sometimes they are nothing when they are in a nothingness. But the people that are left, mm, they are getting very worried because they are a very insecure environment, falling bombs from the sky. Uh, with the nine of wands in the reverse, it's like you have become numb. You have been through so much that it can't even touch you anymore. It's like becoming a little bit catatonic. Uh, so it falls bombs everywhere and you, you don't, uh, we can't see it in your face uh, it's a stone face or it's a totally relaxed face. Uh, so something has been very exhausting to you and it's indicated that it might be like a love situation <laughs> that has made you like, I don't even care anymore. Uh, this person can do whatever they want. I won't, I, I, I don't react anymore. It's so strange. Uh, so <laughs> it's, it has been a little bit too much. We can see this. 
a little bit too much for Capricorn. Uh, next card is Comparison, and Comparison is the Five of Swords, so it's kind of the reason to why we have wars in the first place. My toy is bigger than your toy. No, it's not. <laughs> so, um, with the Five of Swords here in the reverse, it's like you're coming over this conditioning. You don't care uh, for the diversity anymore. Uh, it doesn't touch you uh, because um, you are kind of getting... Um, to you're finding like a pathway to yourself and when you're finding that pathway you see you see that you need to accept whatever is so therefore also this comparison with others is is failing you because uh, what's the meaning if of thinking that this person is so bad they are doing such a stupid thing if that is what they are and they can't do anything else from their level of consciousness then it's it's um, uh, to be upset with them. It's like fighting windmills. Okay, if this person has uh, like a really cold heart and can't put themselves in other people's shoes, well, that's then what is. You can't really do anything about it. You can't uh, uh, um, electrify them and suddenly get them to have a heart. Um, well, you can, but it won't probably have the effect that you want. Maybe it would just put them in this exhaustion. Um, uh, situation too so what you're doing here is kind of you're you're giving up your resistance so that is that is nice it's actually a nice feeling when you stop having enemies you just see well uh, they are what they are i can't really they can't do anything about it just now and i can't do anything about it the only thing we can do is to tell another person how they make us feel or how the situation makes uh, make us feel we can't make them to understand us or make them change their ways. And the only thing we can do is to take responsible for our part of the situation and also maybe step away from a situation that's very difficult. Uh, so it's, um, it's like you're giving up your old ideas of what's right and what's wrong. Um, so that's good. It's very, it's, it, you are probably doing so because you have been to hell and back, but um, it's still very healthy, okay? you're still on the right road. And here we have 10 rebirth. And that is when you're leaving uh, the old behind and uh, uh, you start to uh, feel the life juices again. It's like when your old uh, backbone has been uh, severed, uh, but uh, you're waking up in a new body to a new dawn. Okay. Um, this was you a little bit when you were in this state so numb and just well they are what they are i can't really do anything about it um it's um it's horrible but um i can't change anything but then you become the roaring lion uh, so the roaring lion is someone that doesn't really take no for an answer anymore so this is when you take control over your life not the other person's life because when you were trying to take control of other people's life you noticed that it didn't work and you kind of become numb uh, but now you are stepping into the next level this was this level here we're coming into the next level uh, and this is when you realize that you can do something about it but then you need to work uh, on your own accord uh, like a lion a uh, lion is a pack animal, but it can also be very strong on its own. Uh, so you are going to long for your pack, but you might not be able to be with them just now because you are going through some kind of revolutionary phase. Actually, it is um, when we have kind of given up and our life is gray and um, we are a little bit like a victim to the circumstances. We are in a lower frequency level than we are if we are real pissed. OK, so that's the truth. And the next level of existence is when um, you kind of have made the revolution and you find yourself in a place that's more for you. Might be less people in there, uh, but uh, it's more for you. And then you can uh, return to being the person you were when you came. This beautiful little entity with the last upgrades from the universe came and wasn't really maybe welcomed uh, to the world. They were actually trying to change all your ideas and replace them with their old ideas. But now you have gone full circle here. You try to accept their ideas and then it wasn't possible for you, but you knew you couldn't change them, their ideas either. But here you are aligning with your own ideas, becoming your own soul self okay M building your own worldview
uniquely for you. And that's why we're here. We're not here to everyone to have the same experience and, oh, okay, so this was all that was. Okay, now we can leave this place. Uh, it's a myriad of experience that can be made. And you can see a situation from a myriad of, uh, of views. So um, this is, nothing is over until it's over. And here you have slowing down and it's in the reverse. So it would slow even before and now it's like ultra slow. So um, you have come home to yourself and we have both the innocence card here and this child and, and you're stuck. It's like you're stuck, but you're not really stuck. It's just that uh, the divine wants to have a word with you. Okay, so you're not allowed uh, to go and be and... Uh, do anything uh, but being with yourself and realizing this new awareness that you have just won through the battles that you have been through. Uh, so it's like you might be prevented from doing the things you live, uh, you love or like or the things you usually do. Uh, it might be something like getting a real bad uh, influenza or uh, it can be that every road is uh, like closed for you. If you try to date, it's uh, impossible. If you try to um, get a work, it's impossible. If you try to do this, it's impossible. And you think, how am I going to survive this? It's like my life is becoming into nothing. And it is because you are supposed to tune in to this childlike state to yourself. So it's like your life is on pause. Uh, so don't resist this. If everything is like uh, this disappearing before you, you can't, no matter how hard you struggle, no one will <laughs> hire you. No matter how hard you try, no one will love you. No matter how hard you try, uh, you won't be included or you don't have the strength to go out and have fun or, or whatever it is. Just accept. When Sometimes when life takes a halt like this, it's because... The divine wants to have a word with you. You want to have a word with you. You need to come home to yourself now. So there's no room for outside experiences right now. Uh, okay. And here we have maturity and it's also in the reverse. So it's like some kind of thing, some kind of new thing is laying there. But it's laying in the what's not yet um manifested okay it's a chance that's there but it's not yet there so it's like waiting for you until you have come home to yourself and until you have matured so how you will mature is by slowing down it's like you need to it's like you are, are a cow that has been walking the field all day eating 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 and now you need to lay here and digest and the food needs to go through a number of stomachs before uh, the cow will be able to move again so this is uh, kind of what I see for you but when the cow will move again it will be full of energy so this is what I see here uh, so it will be able to do some skippity scope through the meadows and be with their friends again but right now it's just lying here and um, um, digesting so this is what you need to do you need to digest what you have been through uh, also the trauma of it all because if you and don't if you don't stay with what's inside the pain of it all uh, it will live with you forever so you need to just be with it stay with it uh, so it's like um, when you have had a very busy day and then you go to sleep during the sleep and the dreams the mind is sorting out everything that you have been through and putting in it's in the right folder for you to remember it later or to for you to have the best use of it and this is kind of the same uh, so you have been having a very awakened uh, busy busy period and now you need to digest what you have been through so you will have good use of this in in the future so that's the reason to why there's no experiences right now uh, because you need to come home and experience yourself okay and this is in the future uh, so future will be may probably going into may and here we have morality so some of you might be dealing with uh, libra gemini or aquarius you might have this in your chart as well um, <clears throat> so uh, this might be your mind that has been exhausting you or it might be like another person have been exhausting you a little bit um, because this person lives by the rules, by the book. Um, they have very organized laws about how they want things to be. And when things doesn't get, get like go their way, they kind of shunt away. It's like the, the Queen of Swords, she is a little bit 
uh, like an oracle. She she knows a lot of things. You can see this on the cloud. She's uh, busy, busy thinking. But it's actually a beautiful awareness with the Queen of Swords. Uh, but um, when she sees that the outside world is not living up to her standard, she gets very bitter and withdraw from people and um, uh, decide that it's something wrong with them. Okay. So it's again with this exhaustion, with this, I'm so tired of others. They are making me so disappointed. So um, it's a little bit danger here that you will become a dried up old prune, like they say about this morality card, <laughs> if you are not careful. But um, well, whatever is, is whatever is. So if you feel uh, like you need a pause from other people and you need to go into your loneliness and and uh, be bitter about things or judge people a little bit. Maybe that is what you need. Uh, the qu queen here, she comes in the upright position. And we have the nothingness, the comparison and the five of swords. Sometimes we just need to look at what is. For example, um, I sometimes say that, well, here you're dealing with very stupid people. And it's, uh, it's a joke. It's a funny joke because hell is other people. And this... The world is full of stupid people. It's amazing. Everyone else but me is stupid. They are doing very stupid things, all of them. And it's only me that's sane. And, and this is um, kind of what you need to realize here. And when we see this, uh, we don't have to judge ourselves for it. We just see, yes, this is, yes, this is how I feel. Everyone else is stupid but me. And, and you know that this is not a, it's not possible, okay? Probably everyone else thinks you are kind of stupid too. And it's, we can't really, we don't know other people because we haven't really met them. Uh, so we are jumping into conclusion to why a person is acting in a certain way. And it must be because there is something wrong with them. Uh, and here, when we just see this, when we realize that we've, we have a big problem with other people, we want to be with them, but it seems to be impossible because we don't see eye to eye, we don't have the same moral values, nothing is the same. I'm getting really tired and worn when I'm with others. So just that is what you need to see. When we see what we are doing, instead of no, we are not supposed to think that other people are stupid. We are supposed to love them. Well... Uh, the truth is always the truth. So the deeper you can, if you can peel the onion the, the, and getting closer and closer to the core, that would be great. So first you might need to recognize that you are really tired of other pe people, really like they are exhausting you. You might also be dealing with an air sign that's very exhausted with other people or maybe with you even. Um, so that's what is. And when we, when we can land in what is, whatever is now, uh, then we have something to build on. But if we are just ignoring facts and ignoring our real feelings about things, we will be continuing walking in darkness. Um, it's usually like this. People can be very harsh on themselves and judging themselves very hard. And uh, when they start to realize this, they just listen with their awareness. Okay, so now I'm thinking that uh, I must have been stupid for taking this... Um, decision. Uh, so interesting. And next time, well, I'm, um, I can see now I'm mocking myself for saying this to that person and would have said this instead. This is what I've think about this situation. When you just realize things like this, eventually you will start to change it like naturally without you having to uh, premeditate or think about it at all. You will just stop. You will stop saying that you're stupid. You will stop mocking yourself you will stop making yourself feel ashamed you will just it will just end naturally we only need to see it okay so if we are very angry with people we usually only need to see it to stop if we are very judgmental we only need to see it to stop if we are not judgmental at all and people can fool us into anything we just need to see it to stop so it's simple very simple and here we have the abundance. So abundance is uh, king of uh, pentacles. So it's you, Capricorn. And it comes underneath this, um, uh, I, uh, I don't have the strength to judge anyone anymore. And you are side to side with this person that's so tired because uh, other people are hell. <laughs> they have done all this to me and uh, I'm so exhausted. So I'm thinking this, it might be the couple that you're in. It doesn't have to be that you are 
that you are together with an air sign. And in, this can be two parts of you. It can be your feminine and your masculine side, for example. One side is very tired on the masculine side and the masculine side sees, well, um, maybe we don't have to have any winners or losers. Maybe we can just be friends. And this um, person might have been telling this all along, but now when this person is getting it, they are already so exhausted that they can't, ever forgive this person so uh, this is usually how it is it's very interesting um but it's how things shift and we get experience from the other point of view as well for example if we have been chasing someone and wanting them to love us and then we get tired of it all because they they didn't love us and the person suddenly starts to love us and we don't love them anymore so then we can see things from the other person's point of view now we're suddenly living in their shoes seeing what they went through when you were all clingy and they didn't they just want to shake you off like a uh, like <laughs> like a maggot sticking to the fingers or something uh, so it's just it has something has shifted a little bit here uh, this um, entity here feels very like forgiven okay i see now i understand now and this feels like well i gave it all and no one cared so they are victimizing themselves a little bit and feeling very tired and, and very exhausted. Uh, okay, and here we have the flowering uh, in the reverse. So flowering is the, the queen of pentacles and she's in reverse underneath nothingness and rebirth. So again comes this, uh, uh, why you can't be together just yet is because uh, uh, this masculine entity or you Capricorn maybe uh, needs to find their inner female side okay uh, so it needs to investigate how it is to walk in the female shoes and it doesn't m matter if you are a, a boy or a girl we all have uh, two different sides to us and it seems here that maybe the feminine part of it has fought very hard for love and and now are tired and judgmental and this part was tired and judgmental even before and now they want to fight for love but it's not really it's not there exactly for you right now you need to um you need to get friends with this feminine part on your inside first uh, so if you are waiting uh, uh, for a partner and you kind of feel that they have uh, they have now changed their mind from what how things were before uh, there's still obstacles why you can't be in harmony together because they need to digest it like the cow okay so it's not really ready um, this is a person needs to uh, be on their own to uh, reboot uh, their energy storage you can't give anything to anyone else if you are totally exhausted if you already have given everything and kept nothing for yourself so this is about restoring uh, these energy levels by uh, treating yourself like the cow on, in the meadow. Eat well, <laughs> exercise well, rest well, uh, live a happy life with other cows, okay? And here we have healing. So healing this card is usually Scorpio. This is usually Virgo. Uh, here we have Taurus. <laughs> it's um, in Libra, but it can be different things in water sign, any water sign, or it's just talking about healing. Because here we have uh, the innocence, you finding yourself. Uh, this is you slowing down and being able to make your soul catch up with you. And then we have healing. So there's a there's like a healing going on. It's like a sign is being up. Healing is happening. And um, um, if this is the divine feminine and this is the divine masculine, the divine feminine probably wants to be persuaded that uh, the divine masculine has changed, but they are in no so such position to be able to do this because uh, they need to go through their healing kind of alone. Okay, um, I don't know exactly why, but I just see this in these cards that um, they need to go through this healing alone and your masculine side might need to do this too. So uh, whatever is right now, you can't force anything to happen. Go with whatever is and, and give um, yourself the time to heal. Uh, there's something that is traumatized inside of you that needs the loving attention of your own soul and of the divine. So just... Uh, take a lot of time for yourself out in nature also take three days off and just sit uh, you know upside down or take walks and just be silent uh, with yourself uh, it seems to be very uh, it should be very it could be very very healthy for you and um, healing 
uh, when you heal yourself, give yourself a lot of attention in the process, you also get kind of holy, okay, whole, uh, you get enlightened. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a nice side effect, okay. And here you have the inner voice still in the reversed, but it's because your inner voice is telling you something and you are longing for doing it, but it's not the time. Now is not exactly the time. The time will come, as we see with all these cards, the chance will come, the energy will come. It's just not right now. So it's like you're waiting for, uh, for some kind of sign uh, for, for this new life to begin. But it's not exactly just now. Uh, digestion first, first action later. Uh, so it seems very well organized. You just need to, you don't need to do anything uh, really. You just need to be with yourself and accept whatever is. And uh, it's like you're on a boat going downstream and you will come to your destination eventually. Uh, you, you really don't have to do anything by but finding yourself and your inner stillness. Uh, so I will read the central card for you, the rebirth card. Uh, so, uh, this card depicts the evolution of consciousness as described by Frederick Nietzsche in his book Thus Spake, Sarat, uh, Thus Spake Zarathustra. Zarathustra, yes. Uh, he speaks of the three levels of the camel, lion and child. Three. Uh, the camel is sleepy, dull, self-satisfied. He lives in delusion, thinking he's a mountain peak. But really, he is so concerned with others' opinion that he hardly has any energy of his own. Emerging from the camel is the lion. When we realize we've been missing life, we start saying no to demands of others. We move out of the crowd, alone and proud, roaring our truth. But this is not the end. Finally, the child emerges, neither um, acquiescent nor rebellious, but innocent and spontaneous, and true to his own being. I'm sorry for the light. Uh, whatever the space you're in right now, sleep, sleepy and depressed or roaring and rebellious, be aware that it will evolve into something new if you allow it. It is a time of growth and change. And we can see you are much in this lion state right now, coming out of your, uh, your conditioning. So... So it's not time really for the inner child just yet. It will come here in this more spontaneous row. Now you're just reorganizing things inside of you. So in Sen, you are coming from nowhere and you are going to nowhere, the nothingness. You are just now here, neither coming nor going. Everything pass, passes by you. You are consciousness. Your consciousness reflects it, but it does not get identified. When the lion roars in front of a mirror, do you think the mirror roars? Or when the lion is gone and the child comes dancing, the mirror completely forgets about the lion and starts dancing with the child. Do you think the mirror dances with the child? The mirror does nothing, it simply reflects. So it's talking about uh, your mind is creating a mirror effect. What you're seeing on the outside may not be real at all. We can't really know because the only thing we know is true is that we have a conscious Ness, and we can see things and hear things, but we don't know if they are real. Uh, so here they are speaking of um, uh, you are dancing in front of the mirror, in front of the world, Lila, but you can't know if the, uh, the world is really dancing or if it's you creating this dancing in, outside of you. Um, uh, your consciousness is only a mirror. Neither do you come nor do you go. Things come and go. You become young, you become old, you are alive, you are dead. All these states are simply reflection in an eternal pool of consciousness. So, finding yourself and coming home to yourself and becoming this roaring lion for a while. Uh, I will also take a card for you from the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle cards. Okay, it's that one. Hold on to me. Uh, so this was a little bit what I felt um, and what I'm feeling also no now when I heard this uh, hold on to me that there's a couple for you. You are coupled up uh, with someone. It's just not the time to um, fall into perfect harmony with this person or to um, manifest anything or to 
like make anything happen right now uh, but you are very connected in your prayers i have heard your heart asking can this journey move a little quicker are there things that could be happening now instead of later so I respond to you and your pace is about to quicken. You'll be on the same path, moving towards the same destination. But with my help, your process will be accelerated. It may get a little bumpy with this uh, increase in speed. So put your energy and focus into our connections as I help carry you forward. For now, that will be all that is needed for circumstances in your life to get moving at an adventurous pace. This is this thing that's kind of... Um, unmanifested here but lying and waiting for you uh, divine genius has the pace of our path perfectly timed so that all necessary ingredients for success synchronize perfectly people situation circumstances are ready for when we arrive and we are ready for them so there's a lot of connection needs to be done if you uh, you are aimed maybe for working on a certain project uh, creatively speaking and maybe that firm isn't hiring people right now so that's why you're not getting a job because if you would get a job you would be preoccupied when this job that you really need is coming or that really needs you for that matter we have free will of course which means we can take our time in working through our challenges and make our choices sometimes we will feel pushed by life and other times we will we feel like we want to give our life a push to move a bit faster through some issue or other. The Divine Mother has heard such a prayer in your heart and rather than urging you have to move, have more you <laughs> urging you to have more patience, sorry, she has agreed to your request. Yes, you can be fast tracked through this particular pace of your journey rather than walking the path using your own legs and feet. You are going to hitch a lift with the Divine Mother. Her ways are ingenious and not always obvious. They are certainly fast and effective. If you, your life has been sedate, lacking in excitement or have seemed boring at times, prepare for a change. Your life is about to become a lot more interesting. Uh, so this is uh, exactly what we see here. Uh, but follow the advices of staying in the now because when, um, when you are going on this bumpy ride, you will be happy that you have found the center inside of you uh, so you will be able to take whatever comes uh, on the bumpy ride for example if the bumpy ride includes you getting back together with a lost partner um, maybe if you had been more uh, like getting to know yourself better ground yourself better uh, the relationship would have a bigger chance because if you are more educated you have learned more about yourself and are not so reactive anymore um, there might be like um, um, a better chance for you that's the best way I can put it so you want to have something fast but if it comes fast maybe you won't be ready for it okay uh, so take your time is my advice and uh, uh, things are waiting for you here and probably if you ask for it uh, it will speed up um, and things will you will have things uh, rather sooner than later. Uh, but if you do, uh, maybe this person will still be exhausted with you or you will still be exhausted with this person and this person has, hasn't really uh, integrated their feminine side just yet and healed themselves. Uh, so you will still have kind of the same problem that you had before. If you give it a rest, uh, maybe uh, things have changed into your, uh, like for your to to be more benefactory for you okay so my dear capricorn i hope this helped i want you to take really good care and um, uh, i welcome you back to my uh, beginning of may reading that i will do mid-month april okay bye bye